So let's look at this simple moment problem. We have a teeter-totter with two people sitting on it. The big person's 1,000 newtons and the small person is 500 newtons. They're sitting two meters away from the middle. And the question is, how far away does the big person have to sit? Well, let's draw a free body diagram, first of all. Oops. Like this free body diagram of the plank that they're sitting on. So first of all, we have our coordinate axes. We have x and y. And we're going to have 500 newtons pushing down right here. We're going to have 1,000 newtons pushing down somewhere over on the other side. And in the middle, we'll have this uh, reaction force, is what we call it, pushing up on it, preventing this whole thing from dropping down to the ground. Uh, now, just to make our lives easier, let's put on some distances here. We have 2 meters. And... We have x meters, and we're going to call this point here, um, this point in the middle, let's just call this point A. All right, so for a static equilibrium, we have sum of forces in the x direction has to be equal to zero. Well, there's no forces in the x direction. They're all pointing in the positive or negative y direction, so that condition is satisfied. Uh, we have sum of forces in the y direction must be equal to zero for static equilibrium. So we can solve for what f is, but we'll see we won't actually need this for this problem. Uh, so we will have negative 1,000 newtons minus 500 newtons plus f is going to be equal to 0. So we'll find that f, just by moving these over to the other side, will equal 1,500 newtons. All right, so now that's satisfied. Lastly, for static equilibrium in two dimensions, we need the sum of moments about some point to be, uh, to be equal to zero. So sum of moments, say about A, and we'll say that this is going to be the positive direction. Uh, you can choose either sort of rotation for positive, but just make sure you pick one direction and stick with it. All right, so this has to also equal zero. And if you recall, the, the formula for our moments, one of the formulas that we can use uh, is, you know, the moment about A is equal to just the force times the distance. Okay, perpendicular distance, but these are all these are all up and down, so this is going to be easy. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. So if it's going to cause a clockwise rotation around this point A, we'll define that as positive. So we have 2 meters times 500 newtons. Now this is going to be a positive value because if we're pushing here, it's going to want to rotate this way around point A. Okay, so now we're going to have minus x meters times 1,000 newtons. Uh, now this is minus because it's causing this counterclockwise rotation, which is opposite to what we said is positive. So that's why the minus sign is there. And this is going to equal 0 for static equilibrium. So we simply have 1,000 newton meters. We move this over to the other side. Uh, is equal to x meters times a thousand newtons. Now I just drop, oh, that's a thousand. Uh, now I just divide both sides by that thousand newtons and we'll find that x has to equal one meter. Now this makes sense because our, our equation here for moments is it's directly proportional to force and distance. So for example, if you double your if you double your force or your weight, then that means you're going to have to be half as far away from this point to create the same moment as if you were this guy sitting twice as far but half as half as heavy